In this video, I'm going to share some tips that will allow you to deal the maximum amount of damage in the shortest period with Hayabusa. If you main Hayabusa and you're already in Sally Pro, then you probably won't learn much from this video. But if you're interested in mastering him, then you might find this video quite helpful. These are my builds. I use the attack speed boots if I play in this side lane because I will be more focused on split pushing. The Maya shoes will allow you to ult a lot more frequently. This is how I set up the assassin emblem. If your team agree on hyper carry Hayabusa, then go to the middle lane. If not, you can play him in the side lane as well. He's good at both roles. If you manage to get an early advantage in the early game, take the bottom lethal first, you want to deny the enemy farm as much as possible. Pay a lot of attention here, when you manage to put a shadow directly to the target's body, don't teleport to that shadow right away, use the first skill first, then teleport to the other available shadow next, and then you can teleport to the shadow that's inside the target's body. This way, you will deal the maximum amount of damage in the shortest period. Because each time you teleport to a shadow, it will reduce the cooldown of your first skill. I have seen a lot of Hayabusa players who tend to teleport to the shadow that's inside the target's body right away. But that's not the most efficient way to deal the most damage. Instead of going to clear the middle lane, I want to take the red buff first because I want to let my tank and support gain some level as well. If they're extremely under level, then it's going to be hard to fight the enemy in the long run. It's always a good idea to try to put more pressure on the enemy's carry. If you don't allow the carry to farm, then it's less likely that they can make a comeback. In the early game, you should just use the ultimate to clear the minion wave instantly. This way you can farm extremely fast. One of the things that made Hayabusa so good is his ability to farm extremely fast and without too much risk. Because he's pretty hard to kill if you know how to read the map properly and rotate accordingly to the enemy's movement. Once again, you can see them always using the other shadow first before teleporting to the target shadow. When you're playing the middle lane, one of the most essential things that you have to remember is to keep rotating and pressuring the enemy. You can put pressure by killing the enemies, pushing the lane, and getting objectives like the turtle or lord. Before I commit to take the turtle, if I see that there is a chance to kill the enemy, I always do that first and then proceed to take the objective. 
This way you'll reduce the chance that the enemy can contest or steal it. You have slain an enemy. After using his second skill, try to pay attention to the location of his other shadows, so you'll know where to go next after his ultimate is over. You have to do this extremely fast, almost instantly. Don't fight if you don't have your shadow skill available, it's too risky. Another important thing that you have to remember when you're using Hayabusa is that you have to constantly pay attention to the map and rotate accordingly. Is there any lane that you can split push? Is there a long and squishy hero? Hayabusa is one of the best split pushers in the game, so use that to your advantage. The shadow will pierce you. Killing spree! Your team destroyed a turret! After the latest update, Blade of Heptasis received a huge nerf, and I'm not sure how good it is anymore. I will have to do some tests and probably make a video about it. Around this time, the enemy is probably taking their blue buff. While ulting, pay a lot of attention to his second skill and see how much time you have left to return to one of the shadows. If you're in a terrible spot while you're ulting, constantly drag or tap his second skill while the casting animation is still going on. This way you can instantly teleport back to the shadow. When playing against Lancelot, just wait until he casts his second skill before ulting, because his second skill can cancel Hayabusa ultimate. Kufra is doing a great job at distracting the enemies while I'm taking the Lord. If you're playing a tank, 
That's what you should usually do when your team is taking the Lord. It was at this moment that he knew. I hope you found this video entertaining, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.